I-Team report coming up. How important is this, Paulie? Uh, mid-level. It's topical. Topical. I can knock it out quick. Okay. All right. Let's it, hit it, the, the, the I-Team sounder here. And now we go to the newsroom for an I-Team investigation. The motto of our news team is... We don't break news. We sprain it. Let's go to the newsroom. Paulie? The I-Team has one simple question for one Todd Fritz, and I'd like it if everyone could hold... <laughs> If everyone can hold their reaction until Todd finishes his answer and the I-team has a, a point. Todd, as briefly as you can, as briefly as you can, oh, gosh. I'm going to say it as briefly as you can, why are you wearing that shirt today? Because it's Cinco de Mayo. Thank you, Todd. Todd is wearing a Hawaiian shirt for Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to wear something kind of tropical, and, you know, a place where you kick back and drink and party. Paulie just had a walk-off there. So you wore Hawaiian. I thought it was camo when I first came in. You did in. say that. Why are you dressed in camo? Because okay. we have a military guest? I have nothing to do with that. I, I wasn't sure what it was. And then I said, why do you have camo on today? And you go, Cinco de Mayo. And I went, of course. <laughs> yes, scene. Twitter is wondering if Fritzy was doing an episode of Magnum P.I. today. <laughs> there is that feel. We do have a sombrero. If you were going to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. I wasn't necessarily looking to go that ethnic. I was looking just for something where, because we all, you know, can celebrate. Yeah, we don't uh, embrace it. We just kind of want to squeeze it. Okay. Today's the day where everybody has a, yet but another what, excuse to what, hang out and drink and kick back. I know, but you could wear a sombrero. If you're going to do it, at least do it correctly. I was trying to capture the mood. of. There's no s- mood. Of that, serenity and relaxing and like, grab your buddies and go have a nice day. That drink. has nothing to do with Cinco de Mayo. That also has nothing to do with you. You never relax or hang out with people. That's very, and you don't drink point. either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Other than that, you nailed it. Yes, yes. Argue any yes. Yeah, McLevin. To be fair, I'm not sure the radio audience can tell that this is one, also one of the world's ugliest Hawaiian shirts, <laughs> not just a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> just to be clear. This was expensive. It's actually, you know, I didn't notice, it's black and white. It has a Hawaiian shirt with no color. It's almost black and white. So back in the 50s, this would look fine on TV. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to tell. For like a- yeah, yeah, see. This is the Mexican-American version of St. Patrick's Day, where all of a sudden a bunch of people <laughs> celebrating something that, what well, I don't really even understand why you're celebrating it, but hey, let's go get margaritas and get unnecessarily hammered in the middle of the day. Yeah, I have... I have no idea what this means, but uh, let's drink some tequila. I'm, I'm going to lay back after the show with a Mountain Dew on my hammock, and it'll be nice. Bag of chips. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.